Well, I wanted to shoot this video to demonstrate uh, an important concept. Many of you will already know, I already previously explained it, but uh, I think the demonstration would actually make things uh, a little more, a little clearer. Uh, and that it is that uh, microslurry is acceptable to uh, join foam pieces because it is actually stronger than a foam itself. So I got this uh, piece of foam here that I just trimmed off of uh, uh, the fuselage side. Uh, you see the two sides, of the sidewalls of the fuselage. And I just happen to have a, a piece right here in the middle that is joined with micro slurry. I did that uh, about five hours ago, so it's fairly dry, probably not 100% cured. What I'll try to do is uh, try to break it, break it apart like so, and uh, it should actually break somewhere else besides, besides the joint. So I don't have uh, that many pieces to try, uh, so hopefully this first one will uh, just do the trick. So I'm going to start bending it here and we'll see where it breaks. There you go. And it looks very close to the foam piece. You can see by looking at the very end that there is no micro slurry there. The micro slurry bond is very close but it's still intact. You can see it's just, uh, just purely foam. Let's see if I can focus uh, on the foam itself. Hang in there. Well, I won't actually focus very well, but you can see that there's no white stuff in the cut. And that goes to show that the bond that the micro slurry creates is actually stronger than the bond between the cells of uh, the foam itself. There you have it.